Um, so I've thought about this a couple times now. So I've got all of the Terra Moons highlighters that are launching today here in this little magnetic palette. I took them all out of their compacts just to make it a little easier for them to store for me. And I wasn't really sure like the best way of going about making highlighter content because it's not really something I've done before. I mean, I did an eye look with the, that spectacular shade right there in the middle uh, this beauty, but as far as like using them on the face, I haven't really used many of these, um, just because some of them have very deep bases and I'm very pale, but I thought I'd just do some quick face swatches for ya, just so I'd have a little bit of content out before the launch today. So the deeper shades obviously are not going to work as a highlighter on me. But maybe I could still do like some face swatches to see what they might look like as an eyeshadow or, you know, you get it. So, let's see. I'm going to grab the first shade right here, which is going to be Ursa. It's this beauty. I'm just going to swatch a little bit of this right on my finger. So, definitely too deep. Very pretty, but just that would be a great eyeshadow on me. <laughs> and then I'm going to take the next shade, which is going to be Amber Sky, which is this gorgeous deep brown copper. I'm just going to swatch that one right next to her. And this shade looks a little bit more intense. You can see there's just a bit of a stronger glimmer to it. So here's like the front face, and then, yeah. So then we've got, ah, sorry, uh, Dinabola. I have no idea if I'm saying that right, but it's a gold copper. That one looks like that first shade where it's a bit more of like a satin. It's still high shine, but it's not as many large glitter particles. Okay, and then we're going to grab the next shade. Halo, which is this one right here. I describe this one as like a... Hmm, like a... Not gunmetal, like a steampunk type of shade, if you get what I mean. I'm just going to take that one right here. Yeah. All of these ones you can just see straight on. Very deep bases. They are very pretty, but just for someone with a much deeper skin tone than mine. So I'm going to clean off my hand and then we're going to grab the next four shades. Okay, next up on the roundup, we've got. Autumn Sunset, which, ah, sorry, I'm doing this all with one hand, so things look a little weird, that's why. I left my tripod downstairs, and I really just wa didn't want this to be, like, super professional. This is really more of a casual little reel. This is a super sparkly shade. Let's see. I'm just gonna take some of that. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to show you guys my old background. This one is very intense. Like, once again, base is too deep on me. But you can just see how shiny that is. And I'm in lower lighting than usual, so you can really get a sense of what these are going to look like on the actual skin. And I'm not wearing any foundation or anything. So, yeah. And next up, we have, oh, once again, uh, uh, Amalthea? Amalthea? I can't really read that, but it's this pink shade. This one looks like it might work as like a blush or a blush topper on me. But we'll see. Okay, yep, run on super deep base. Well, this one's a more of a mid tone base, but gorgeous pink, as you can see. Like, wow. Stunning. 
And then next up, we have another really sparkly shade, Astral Allure. This is like a perfect pink eyeshadow. This one looks a lot like that last one, just maybe even more intense. So let me grab a free finger. Bam. Okay, this one looks less like Barbie pink and more like a rose gold. It is super beautiful. Great eyeshadow color on me. I will be using this on my eyes at some point soon. Like, these are all really fantastic metallic eyeshadows of different intensities for people with very fair skin like myself. Okay, so let's get one more on this side of the face, and then I'm probably going to need to do, like, on the forehead, and then do, like, a quick showcase, and we'll be good. So, this last one... It's going to be this, like, orangey, peachy shade, which I've seen some of my fellow creators use as a blush. Coral Horizon. And let's get show ya. It's like this bright orange coral color, as the name would describe. Then, bam. Yeah, that one... Obviously, very bright orange base to it with like a gold sheen. This would be great as a highlighter blush topper situation, or like as like with a big brush to use as a blush. But I don't think I'd ever use that as a highlighter on its own. Okay, let me clean off my hand, and we'll get the next four. The next four have the lightest bases and would probably work the best on a fair skin tone. Now we are on to my favorite shade, which is Haze of the Moon. It has a bit of a mid-tone base with a super bright blue sparkle throughout it. I don't even know how to describe this shade other than it's everything. Like, beautiful. There it is right here. So you can see the base is still, like, a little deep. But as an eyeshadow, one of the prettiest colors I think I've ever owned. And you can see how strong of a shift it has. But, like, I feel like if you sheer this out, it might work on light skin. But it would not be an easy to use one by any means. And then we have. Ah! Uh. Erix? A E R U X, which is this, like, light lavender pinky purpley color and let's just throw that one right here this one is very sheer compared to the rest like it's just a very subtle pretty purple sparkle and like when I turn my head it has a fairly light base I don't know if I'd be able to get away with using this as a highlighter but definitely it's a blush topper in a really pretty like purple eyeshadow situation but I think when blended out it could maybe be used as a highlight okay down to our last two lunar vapor which is this really pretty like just standard metallic silvery type color and that one it's gonna throw it down here yeah, that is like a titanium color. Once again, great eyeshadow color. Not necessarily a good highlighter on me. So, this one, the last one we got here, is probably my favorite to use as a highlighter. This is my favorite shade, this one here. But this is the one I think I'd actually get away with using on my face and would recommend to anyone with very light skin. It's Luminescence. And this is just the most beautiful, like, gold with blue reflex at the same time. It's just a very strong blue with gold sparkle throughout it. And you can see when I move my head, no cast. So yeah, there's just a quick overview, well not quick, this is like 10 minutes long, an overview of the highlighters that are dropping from Terra Moons today. Thank you once again, Terra Moons, for sending these my way. 
I will definitely be using this one as a highlight, but I think the rest of these are going to be eyeshadows or blushes for me. And 